Hi guys, my name's Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk to you about sewing myself a swimsuit. More specifically, this swimsuit. So I fancied the idea of sewing myself a swimsuit long, long, long before I thought, or probably was capable of, of sewing it. I liked the idea of actually being able to get something that fit me <laughs> in a fun fabric um, and not having to go and try on 25 swimming costumes because we all know that isn't the most fun experience in the world. <laughs> so I bought this. Um, it was actually, I think, in my first Minerva Crafts order. So uh, Butterick at the time were on the 40% off pattern rotation. So all of the patterns were 40% off and I needed to spend a little bit more to reach free postage. <laughs> Come on, we've all made a free postage purchase, right? And this was mine. And I said at the time when it arrived, well, I'll get round to it at some point. And that was probably a year ago. And I had decided that I liked the UC, which is just a plain kind of simple one piece swimming costume. Um, that comes with a shelf bra and I did nothing with it <laughs> it sat for quite some time um, in my stash and then about three months ago I'd say I started to see lots of new swimming suit patterns come out from the indie designers and none of them really struck me as being what I was looking for I'm quite a simple girl <laughs> When it comes to swimming costumes, I don't like the big bows or, you know, really plunging v-neck. I like a swimming costume that I can swim in, not just kind of sit around in. I'm not a big beach sitter. So that's what I was on the hunt for. And then I remembered that I had this pattern, um, but I was still way, way too nervous to, you know, actually sew it. Um, but I did go as far as buying some fabric. This gorgeous fabric from uh, Dark Violet Prints. So Dark Violet Prints is a custom group. They're a UK based custom group. So um, there was, yeah, selling this on a pre-order and I can't remember if I bought it on a pre-order or if I bought it on a retail post that was just kind of like a wall sale in their Facebook group. But I absolutely loved it. Like, it's just so fun. And I bought a metre of it. I think it was £16.50 and uh it sat in my stash for months because when it arrived i was so scared and then i sort of started to build up a bit of confidence and then i watched the great british sewing bee episode where they talked about power mesh and how scary it was and i freaked out but i recently uh, like literally a few weeks ago finally set up my overlocker <laughs> Which is there and uh, I was like oh I could sew swimwear and underwear now so I'm gonna give this a go and found out I didn't need an overlocker so tip number one you do not need an overlocker to sew swimwear and um, you just need a regular zigzag stitch on your machine preferably one that you can change the width of um, so lesson learned for me there and um, I ordered some power mesh from eBay and it's in this blue colour because I really liked the idea of not having to sew it with like a nude or black. Um, but I don't think this is proper power mesh. It's, I don't know, I've read, I've been looking for some more power mesh online and I've seen a few places that have listed like firm power mesh. And I wonder if maybe that is kind of what I view as power mesh in my head. How many times can you say power in a sentence? <laughs> um, but I thought that blue, I actually, I ordered this and it was called Kingfisher Blue. It is Kingfisher Blue, but in the picture it looked a lot more teal and I thought it would go really well with the swimming costume. But, you know, it's on the inside. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. Um, so I decided that I was going to do it. I opened up my uh, Butterick pattern and... I was looking for the finished garment measurements. Now, you guys know that the big four pattern companies don't do sizing well, <laughs> do, do they? About as well as I did English there. Um, they really, they there's so much ease in patterns and I kind of thought, well, you know, a swimming costume has negative ease. So this is gonna be confusing as to what's going on here. 
And so I was looking for the finished garment measurements. <laughs> they don't exist. They're not here. They're not on the pattern tissue. Um, they just don't exist, which is wonderful. Um, but the sizes, so I've bought the larger size here, the 14 to 20. Now, on the pattern tissue, it says it goes up to 24, but it doesn't. It only goes up to 20. And it says that a size 20 is a waist 34 which is four inches smaller than my waist. So then I freaked out. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be able to make this. You know, I finally geared myself up and I'm excited by it. And I'm not going to be able to make it. And I was so disappointed. But I thought, well, big four patterns are usually big, right? They usually come up big on me. So I'll measure the pattern pieces and see what it's like. There is five inches of ease. Ease, not negative ease, ease in the size 20 pattern. The pattern piece is measured as if the finished garment was gonna be 39 inches in the waist. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you doing, Butterick? This just doesn't make any sense. Um, so then I lost a bit of hope <laughs> um, and I wasn't really sure what to do because then my gut instinct told me that I should sew an 18 but bearing in mind that the 18 is for a size 32 inch waist and I am a 38 inch waist, I was a little bit freaked out. Um, so I decided to trace and cut the 20 and see how it was. Now, I was very bold because I decided I would do that with my lovely, nice, pretty fabric and not buy some cheaper fabric. And partly that was because uh, sweat my fabric's expensive and it seems to be expensive whether you buy plain or pretty or anything really so I thought I would just give it a go because I could always try and get some more and actually I didn't use my whole meter of fabric in this and I've got enough to make myself either a pair of swim bottoms like bikini bottoms so maybe the B on here or a swim top but not this because I'm not a big fan of this but I have the free lovesick bra pattern by Jordan Ginger which I'll put in a picture of here and I'm making my first one of that at the moment and if it fits well I think it would be quite a cool bikini top so that's my plans <laughs> for those um then I kind of had plucked up the courage to actually you know cut the pieces out I cut the lining out I cut the, the swimming fabric out and then I looked at the instructions <laughs> which were like they were written in another language. Now, I don't sew loads and loads of big four patterns, but I've sewn my fair share. I've sewn Butterick patterns. I've sewn lined moto jacket pattern from Butterick. So I'm not, you know, totally clueless as to how big four patterns work. But this was, I, I had no idea. I couldn't work out where the gusset went. I couldn't work out how you attached the shelf bra um the lining was very confusing um it wasn't kind of traditionally bagging out and i i basically so then i was freaking out again I, i've cut out this pattern and now i don't know how i'm gonna sew it like what am i gonna do so i googled around as you do i searched on instagram there are so few reviews of this pattern on instagram and if I'm honest, most of the reviews are on the smaller end of the scale, um, which didn't help me for kind of sizing. <laughs> I was freaking out about everything then, like sizing, instructions, you know, you name it. I, I was worried about it. Um, so I, I switched to Google after my Instagram and YouTube kind of foray. And I found a video, which I am going to put a link into down below. Um, which was from a fabric shop in Canada called Fabricana. And it was a tutorial of how to make this or a sew along with a much, much easier <laughs> method. And to be honest, it was kind of magic. You basically lay all four layers of, this, of the swimsuit on top of each other um, in a certain order. <laughs> it was like face, the real swimsuit, um front face up back face down the lining front face up back face down i think go check out the video it explains it really well and then you just sew up the side seams the shoulder seams and the crotch seam 
and then it magically becomes the right way round. Um, it's it is magic. Like I definitely didn't trust it, but it worked. So <laughs> you can trust it. Um, which was awesome. And then all you have to do is attach the elastic. But in that tutorial, or so along, they don't attach the shelf bra or the gusset. They just have, you know, it's just a lined swimming suit. And I like to have some support in the chest area. <laughs> so I wanted to work out how I could attach the shelf bra. And basically what I did or what I worked out is that I could sew the shelf bra and the gusset to the lining before I did that step of attaching all of the um all of the uh, pieces together now this is where you're going to see the messy insides this is not perfect I've definitely made a lot of mistakes in this but basically what I did was I attached the shelf bra at the shoulder by just tucking in um, a section and top stitching across and then I sewed elastic into the shelf bra and there it hangs <laughs> um, so that when the side seams were sewn up with everything the side this was ca caught in the side seams um, so all I did really was attach it there at the, at the um, on the strap and then for the gusset I attached the wrong sides together at one bit of the gusset so that it was a seam and then I did the same thing I folded it over and top stitched it down now that's not perfect but I think it actually works quite well and I probably would just do that again um the main mistake I made was in putting the elastic in um for a couple of reasons I used swimwear elastic as I think most people would when you were sewing swimwear for the first time. But I think that the Fabricana video uses just normal elastic, um, which I think stretches a bit more than swimwear elastic. So I probably should have used slightly longer pieces of elastic. You can see that it's curling up a little bit. It looks absolutely fine when it's on. <laughs> totally fine. Um, but yeah, I'm, I mucked it up. The main thing I did wrong, which is really stupid, but... And I don't know really why this happened. I mean, I do because I was silly. But I attached the elastic on the outside of the right side of the, of the swimwear first and then folded it under. But that means you can see the elastic and it touches your skin. And what you're supposed to do is sew it on the inside and then fold it under so that then you don't see that and you get a much neater finish. Now no one sees it when I'm wearing it it doesn't actually feel as uncomfortable as maybe I feared it would so I'm kind of okay with that um but yeah in terms of construction actually so much simpler than I had geared up in my head so if you're worried about sewing swimwear or underwear and you're keen to try it give it a go it's so much easier than you think my sewing machine didn't have any problems with sewing swim now I know that some people have said that they do they have found it difficult to sew swim and power mesh before um all I can say is that I used a good quality thread so I used a Gutemann polyester thread I used uh, my Janome uh, 230 DC sewing machine which just coped with it fine I think you could use a walking foot if you wanted um but the method that I used for this meant I didn't need to stretch things in different directions um so I think that helped a lot I was really just sewing straight lines um which was quite easy so um I didn't have any problems with that shall we talk sizing <laughs> so I, I sewed the size 20 and I made the decision to sew this while I had a friend visiting because I really thought I was going to need help with fit and I'm so pleased I chose to do that because it was quite difficult i tried the, the swimsuit on for size before i attached the elastic um because i knew that it would be harder to uh to alter the fit once the elastic was in and um, because i couldn't then turn it kind of inside out um it was big <laughs> it was it was quite big um the adjustments i made i took about two and a half inches off the straps that was probably slightly too much in hindsight i think next time i'd take two but i think i'd take one and a half off the front um no that's wrong one and a half inches off the back strap and half an inch off the front because it was bigger at the front 
like sorry it's bigger at the back so i think that's what i do next time i also had to take in a lot at the waist and the bust um it fit like i kind of felt like it was okay but my friend sort of said that swimming costumes are supposed to be you know supportive and and um, not kind of loose and it did it bagged a little bit under the arm here and um, so I took in about two inches maybe three inches in total um at the, at the top of the side seams tapered that down through the waist to maybe an inch um I didn't do anything around the hip like the from the waist down I didn't change and we discussed that we thought the elastic would bring <laughs> the legs in a little bit um and didn't want to uh, hassle around with it in hindsight i should have taken about an inch off of each hip um because it's a little bit saggy in the bottom <laughs> when i lift my legs up like as in when i'm walking or running or something not noticeable and i've done many tests walking up and down my front room um and in the garden making my husband check if there's too much gapage <laughs> but there isn't um but i can feel that it is a little bit gapy so um i did go in and try and alter the uh the the um hip on one side and you can see that it just doesn't quite line up anymore so again it's not really noticeable when i'm wearing it um but i haven't done that on the other side because i think it looks nicer without it so i've altered the pattern a little bit for that the line drawing says that the back leg is reasonably like straight as you would sort of expect it to be but in reality there are like quite round rotund flaps <laughs> for want of they were bum flaps while we were while we were sewing i'm not gonna lie um it was weird <laughs> it was yeah it was weird um don't really know why um don't know if maybe i just don't have a big enough bum <laughs> to accommodate the bum flaps that were there um but i kind of have smoothed that out so i took away the kind of out bit what i'll do is take a picture of the um pattern piece to show you uh because yeah that wasn't happening but after i made those adjustments and also shortened the shelf bra by about an inch um i was pretty happy with the fit actually i made a swimsuit <laughs> which is the most exciting thing and this swimsuit has darts which like bus darts which i've seen on a few reviews people say they didn't really like they thought it was a bit odd in a in a swimsuit i love it like bus darts are your friend if you have a chest and <laughs> these are my friends i really love them and actually they sit in the right place which i was quite surprised by um i normally i mean i don't make a lot of alterations to bus darts but i would say that I am nearing my 30s and I am perhaps not as perky as I used to be and I think that I was quite surprised so you might find that you need to alter the bus start but I thought it was just really good to have a bus start in a swimming costume with a shelf bra made it so kind of comfortable um around around my bust so that's my swimming costume experience I'm gonna hopefully have dotted in loads of pictures of me wearing the swimming costume um while i've been talking it's been fun to do what it has done is made me super excited about sewing more and sewing more underwear because i probably don't need 25 swimming costumes i do want maybe a couple more and it'll be quite nice to make myself some bikini bottoms and some kind of mix and match bikini bottoms and tops um but i don't do lots of <laughs> swimming um so you know i don't need lots and lots but it would be quite nice to have a couple i'm eyeing up a really nice plain emerald green um and i'm gonna go to liberty during the week and see if i can pick up some fabric there was some swim fabric in the sale in liberty that was like 14.50 a meter which is cheaper than this <laughs> um which is ridiculous i mean this is really really good quality that wasn't kind of a dig at this but you know to have the liberty brand swim would be amazing and it was so pretty but it's sold out online so i'm going to go and check out in their store and see if they've got some because i think that would be really cool um 
but other than that it's given me the confidence to sew underwear <laughs> which i do wear every day so it would be quite nice to have um that's my experience of this it's been really fun to sew and i hope it's been useful um talking to you about it let me know what swimming costume patterns you've tried because i now i've got this to work i think i'll make a couple more of these but i would be interested to see particularly kind of bikini tops um i like the i can't remember is it the friday pattern company um swimming costume with sleeves that would be quite fun to try um but in the meantime me and my swimming costume are going to iceland next week and this is going to be used during all of the hot pools and baths and spas so i'll let you know how it fares out in the real world um rather than just when i've been uncomfortably taking pictures in my back garden for you <laughs> the internet um anyway thanks so much for watching guys i will speak to you soon until next time bye <laughs>